Well, he got his wish. He's going in here tonight against the very best at Wrestling Open. Of course, we saw him last week against Antonio Zambrano in a losing effort. So coming in here against Alec Price off a loss for him, you have to think he has absolutely nothing to lose. I feel like this is a match that could certainly main event any episode of Wrestling Open. Maybe a good deal of the cards all throughout the Northeast. The only two, the only time these two individuals have shared a ring prior, Alec Price defeated Tyree Taylor in just about 12 minutes at Limitless Wrestling on their road season two. But if this match goes to 12 minutes, it won't go to 12 minutes because the bell will sound at 10 minutes and it's going to be ruled a draw. So... And I feel like that was a different time in a different place. You know how quickly things change in our sport. Oh, of course. He, I mean, Alec Price has had a meteoric rise. It started with his victory back at Masha Slamovich Borch at the beach, and very few have defeated him in any sort of capacity anywhere he's wrestled since then. So, I mean, a meteoric rise over the last six months, and I don't think he's going to try and let somebody like Tyree Taylor get in the way. And the big boy from Brooklyn standing his ground in the center of the ring and showing off why they call him the big boy as he sends Alec Price crashing down to the mat and the look on Alec Price's face said I think I'm in for much more of a battle than maybe I initially thought well it's not uncommon for Price to be given up size in a match but the difference in size between him and Tyree especially considering that Tyree be able to match Price in agility is something that Price is going to have to look out for grabbing that leg is Alec Price trying to wiggle out of here gets the shoulders down and that is what Alec Price may have to do if he wants to get an advantage and pick up the win here tonight. He is going to have to get Tyree Taylor to the ground somehow. I don't know that Price is going to be able to hit a lot of his signature offense on Tyree Taylor. I mean, we see with that gotch style set up into a power bomb. There's no chance right. he's going to be able to lift Tyree Taylor. The prize possession as well. I mean, I don't even know if he could get the torque on it as Taylor has him up and oh. sends him crashing down with that standing Uranagi. Tyree quickly becoming a fan favorite here in Worcester, Massachusetts. Wrestling open, like you said. Impressive showings, but the name of the game is picking up the victory. And our referee making the count here as Alec Price is reeling on the floor as he is down and out. Tyree Taylor coming to the floor because he knows he needs to stay on top of Alec Price throughout this entire Price, match. Price is trying to throw fans in front of Tyree Taylor. I think that that's completely he's uncalled for. He's and now he's put cameraman John Roy. we got to be careful we don't damage any equipment for IWTV. Um, well, Tyree Taylor doing the right thing as far as oh. being a human and checking on the cameraman, but instead, Alec Price took that advantage and hit Tyree Taylor with a right hand, and he couldn't protect himself. He didn't know it was coming. And then he goes face first into that post. Well, Price... You can't always agree with his uh, methods, but it's hard to argue the results. Oh, there is a stomp to the midsection by Alec Price as there is a certain section of the crowd who respects what Alec Price does, but mostly you hear the majority of the crowd chanting garbage yeah, at this man. Yeah, they're getting drowned out right now. And Tyree Taylor, give this guy credit face first into the steel post. When it comes to flesh versus metal, metal's gonna win every time. Still doing his best to fight back, but that might have been it. That might have been the knockout shot. And that's what Price needs to do. Death from above, is that enough? No. Shoulder up by Tyree Taylor as there is a springboard and a kick connects straight to the face of Tyree Taylor. And now this is where Alec Price is Ooh. vulnerable. He gets super frustrated. Nobody's been able to figure it out yet, but this is where he tends to get vulnerable, DC. Well, Tyree's not gonna be able to do too much to take advantage of it if he's flat on the mat. And we keep seeing those shots to the back of the head. I mean, any single one of these strikes where the base of the skull beats the neck, that could be a potential knockout. And uh, I'll tell you what, if Alec Price can knock out Tyree Taylor, that might be what he has to do to beat him. It could be, as Alec Price with those shots to the back of the head. And we saw what Antonio Zambrano did a week ago, hitting that knockout shot to the back of the head. So whether Alec Price had that studied or it was just instinct, he is going to the most vulnerable part of Taylor's body. You gotta think to that surprise kick. That's typically where it lands, although Alec Price oh, right. looking for a counter right there, but Tyree Taylor able to use the strength to put on the brakes and unloading with a big right hand. That right hand connected. Alec Price was rocked. And here comes Taylor with the avalanche oh! and the Pele kick. Taylor is on a roll. And Taylor starting to regain his bearings as Price came charged in and got tripped up and now just squashed with an elbow drop. 
and Taylor needs to use all of that weight, all of that athleticism, nothing to lose here in this contest against Alec Price. He is going to put it all on the line. Price back into the corner again, this time he staggers out. Now look at a springboard. Oh! oh! Right to the Michinoku driver pull! I've never seen a counter is like that! Is that it? No, Alec Price shoulder up at a count of two. An unbelievable counter from Tyree Taylor here in episode eight. I don't know how Alec Price kicked out of that. There's no way you could prepare for that. And he had no idea what was about to come. Taylor had some sense as Price goes off the rope <laughs> and a lariat out of his boots. Here we go, Paul. One, is it? two, three. Oh! Whether it's his insanity, whether it is instinct, I don't know what it is. Alec Price getting that shoulder up at two. An unbelievable effort from Taylor. He is at the one yard line. Can he punch it in and get the victory he needs? I cannot believe that Price kicked out of that clothesline. Off the ropes and into orbit. Has him by the well, mid section him up for the power here. Bomb, but look, Price is still trying to rain down blows to the back of the head. And able to land on his feet, Paul. Here comes Taylor. Oh, and a knee. That knee was right across the chin. Yeah, but Tyree's still on his feet. Off the, the top. Buster now? No. Gets caught. And no, he went for that double stomp. Could not. Oh, Tyree just blocked it pretty much and yeah. threw him overhead. He thought he was going to get that double stomp. Instead, Taylor able to maintain his balance. And instead, Price goes crashing down. Yeah, that was a bad landing for Alec Price. I don't know if that was the best move out of Tyree, though. This seems like it's kind of a rookie mistake to, to put an opponent like Alec Price in a position where he's comfortable. The top rope. Taylor sent backwards. Is he going to try it again? I don't know. No way. Going to the well one too many times. Oh, this time he caught himself, but Tyree's still not down. Double oh! stop. He got all of it. Went to the well, and this time it worked. Alec Price has Taylor down on the mat. Well, Tyree's got to be careful. Oh, Ooh, the surprise kick right to the back kick. of the head, Paul. He's out. He's out. Surprise Can he kick. get him over? Can he get him over? Wow. Alec Price with the win here in episode eight. And there is a victory for Alec Price here at Wrestling Open over Tyree Taylor. A very impressive win to say the least, but I have to say Tyree Taylor had nothing to lose. Wait, hold on. Look at that, your ace is back and he's having bangers. I think, I think Wrestling Open officials should be levying a fine against Alec Price, personally. As you hear the fans calling for Masha Slamovich. You listen up, you listen up close, all right? I am your ace. I am the best damn thing this territory has to offer. It's a fact. I am the biggest and baddest star. I am the only goddamn hoss in this territory. Calling himself a hoss? <laughs> He's not a hoss. Goddamn hoss. No one else. Do you see this? This is going to be everywhere one day. Do you stupid people or not? Well, he is going to be in that New South Hoss tournament next month, so. So that makes him a hoss here at Wrestling Open? And I always do when I come to this goddamn Wrestling Open show. Put my goddamn foot through people's fucking skulls and continue to show I am. Well, there you go. I'm sure wrestling open officials will be looking at that tape closely, but the statement has been made nonetheless. Alec Price calling himself the biggest and the baddest, and the 
Haas of wrestling open as well. It's very interesting. But Well, you want to talk about somebody that was uh, considered to be an ace beyond wrestling for a long period of time. An intergenerational dream match between Alec Price and Kimberly, originally scheduled for day 91. We will now see that match for the first time ever at Monkey Business. That's on Sunday, March 13th, Somerville, Massachusetts, streaming live on IWTV starting at 4 o'clock.